Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to post a pre recorded video as a Facebook Live event using the Open Broadcaster software. First thing we're going to do is go to this URL here. One of my friends, Brett Rutke, created this PHP app to connect to your Facebook Live interface. So we'll just click on that. And then you can use this pull down here and you can see that you can share it on your own timeline, share it on a friend's timeline, share it in a group, or share it on a page you manage. For this demo, I'm just gonna share it on a page that I manage, so I'll click here. Click this pull down and you'll see all your pages. I'm just going to click on Make Money Online, click on Next, click OK, and then it brings up the Go Live Facebook interface. You can fill out what's on your mind, your video title, and your video tags. Now for Destination tab here, I'm not going to do anything with that. And the Advanced tab, I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm just going to fill out the basic tab here. All right, so I fill out this section here. I put the link that I want people to go to. I put in a video title. And then for video tags, I'll just type in reputation. And Facebook will automatically suggest some words for me. So I'll click on reputation. I'll type in reputation again. Reputation management. I'll type in reputation one more time. And repair bad reputation. And then I'll click on uh, small business. Maybe I'll just type in business. Small business, um, business owner. All right, so that's, that's good enough for tags for right now. But one of the things this Facebook Live interface does is it creates this stream key right here. And this is what we're gonna have to put into our OBS software. Okay, so let's bring up our OBS software. I've got this icon here called OBS Studio. So I'll just double click on that. All right, so you can add scenes and then sources for those scenes. So I'm going to have three scenes that I create. I'm going to create one scene that is a video intro, another scene that is just an image intro, and then a third scene will be my pre-recorded video. So I'll just click on the plus sign here, and I'll call this intro video. Click OK. Now I'm going to select the intro video, and then I'm going to come over here and click a source for that. So I'll click on the plus sign here. I'm going to click on media source. We'll click on OK. And then we're going to browse for our intro video. So I'll click on browse. I'll find the directory where I have that video. And here it is, video pizzazz, Facebook live stream intro video. Click on OK. And I'll click on OK. Now there's some other options here you could play with. You could possibly loop it. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to click on OK. And then you'll see it come in right here. So then grab the corner here and resize it so it fills up the black area. You can see my video in the background kind of spinning around there. It says here the stream will begin shortly. Don't forget to follow Video Pizzazz. So that's our video intro scene. Now let's go back over here and we'll create a image intro scene. So we'll click on the plus sign and we'll call this intro image. Click on OK. So make sure that the intro image is selected and then come over here to source, click on a plus. Click on image, click OK, and then browse and find the image. I'm going to select this Video Pizzazz Facebook live stream intro image and click on open. All right, and then click on OK. OK, so then we'll stretch that out so that it fits horizontally here from top to bottom, and that'll be my image. Now, the last thing we want to do is create a scene for our pre-recorded video. So in the scenes area again, we'll click the plus sign and we'll call this pre-recorded 
video. Click OK. And then make sure that we have that selected. And then come over here, click on the plus sign underneath sources. And let's select our pre-recorded video that we want to play. So we'll, again, we'll click on media source. Click on OK. Click on browse. And we'll find the video that we want to live stream to Facebook Live. Click on OK. Click on OK. And there's our video. So we can stretch that guy out. So now we've got three scenes. We've got an intro video, an intro image, and then our video that we want to actually live stream. So we won't use the intro video and intro image together. We'll decide whether we want to do this or this. And in my case, I'll probably just do the intro video. This is what will be shown on Facebook before you actually start live streaming. And then you can click on your pre-recorded video to play it. So one more thing we need to set up here in OBS is our streaming key. So we'll come over here to settings, click on stream and the stream type, we want streaming services. Service, we want Facebook Live. And then we'll take this stream key here out and we'll bring up our Facebook Live here and we will grab that stream key that they generated for us. We'll copy that, come back over here and paste that stream key in there. And if you want to make sure that it really is the stream key that Facebook generated, you can click a show and you can actually show the key. But I'm gonna hide it, click on apply, and click okay. And what this is actually doing now is this stream key is what connects the OBS software to Facebook Live and allows it to communicate back and forth. Click okay. All right, so now I'm going to try to shrink shrink OBS down here so I can fit everything on here. All right, so I kind of split my screen here. So here's my Go Live Facebook interface, and here's my OBS interface. All right, so one more thing that I did here is I muted my mic so that in case I happen to be talking while the live stream is occurring, people are not hearing my discussion in the background. Okay, so we're almost ready to go here. So I'm gonna kill my browser window here so it doesn't pop up in the middle of our streaming session. And so all I have is my Go Live Facebook interface connection here. And then I have my OBS streaming software window down here. Now one important thing to note is the scene that you want to play, I would put that at the top here and you can reorder them by using the up and down arrows here. You just click on whatever one you want to click up or down to rearrange these. And what's going to happen now is I'm going to click on start streaming. It'll go out and make the connection using this streaming key to this Facebook Live window here. And at that time, this Go Live button will become a dark blue, meaning the connection is made. So once that's made, the connection is made between these two softwares. So then whenever you click on Go Live, it'll actually start streaming. So I'm just gonna click on the intro image here so that, uh, so that I can click on the intro video once the start streaming happens. All right, so I'm going to click on Start Streaming. And it's saying it's connecting. Okay, so it says here, Fetching Video Stream. Connection between these two softwares have been made. So now I'm going to click on Intro Video. Click on Go Live. And then I'm gonna click on Pre-Recorded Video. And when this video is done playing, I'm going to click stop streaming. So I'll click on stop streaming. Now I'll go to my Facebook page, go to my pages, click on make money online. Okay, so you'll see my intro video.
and then my main video starts playing. All right, so I hope you found that useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.